So these particles have an electric force on them which is acting up if they're positive charges. And so we need a magnetic force down on them for them to be able to pass through this region and have those forces cancel out. So you know you want a magnetic force down and so you could stick your right thumb down and you know the particles are going to the right and so you can point your whole hand in that direction and if you now bend your fingers with your thumb pointing down you'll find that your fingers are pointing out and so that tells us that for the electric and magnetic forces to be able to cancel, we need the magnetic field here to point out of the screen. That doesn't guarantee that the two forces cancel out, it just means it's possible since they're in opposite directions. So now let's look at what is necessary for them to be able to cancel out. So we know we want our acceleration to be zero so that the particles are going through at constant velocity. And the total force on it is the total electromagnetic force which we know is just this. In the convention I've set here, I can write that this way. Note that V and B are perpendicular, and so the cross products sine theta is just one, and so I can just write this as VB, and I know it is in my negative Y direction. And I want that all to be zero. And so that simply means that... So this is the condition for particles to be able to move straight through. And notice the condition has to do with the speed. Only particles going at a certain speed will pass through here undeflected. And so we call this a velocity selector. Notice something a little surprising. It doesn't depend on the charge of the particles. The charge cancelled out at this point. And so even if this is a mix of positive and negatively charged particles, if they are going the right speed, they will still pass through. And so, no matter what set of charged particles we have, only the ones going at a particular speed will pass through here undeflected. I'm going to finish this unit by raising an issue which we simply cannot resolve in this course, but which is very interesting and I think you should be aware of it. So let's say you are in the Earth frame, you're stationary relative to the Earth, and you're observing two charged particles which are moving along at the same velocity. Trogdor, the burninator, meanwhile, is in a moving frame. He's moving along and he is moving, let's say, at the same velocity as those particles. So according to Trogdor, those particles are stationary. What do you and Trogdor observe? Well, notice you will agree that these two charged particles will exert electric forces on each other. Any charged particle exerts electric forces on any other charged particle. However, according to you, these charged particles are moving, and so they will exert magnetic forces on each other, since moving charges are sources of magnetic fields and feel forces due to magnetic fields. We don't know yet how to figure out those magnetic forces, but we'll see in the next topic unit that these two particles would be magnetically attracting each other. However, Trogdor disagrees. According to Trogdor, these particles aren't moving, and so they don't produce any magnetic fields, and they don't feel any magnetic forces. All Trogdor will measure will be electric forces on the charges. But hang on a second, there's the principle of relativity. You and Trogdor have to agree on all the laws of physics. So surely you ought to agree on the accelerations of these particles, right? Well, we can resolve this issue, but it involves special relativity, and we simply can't get into that in this course.